everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. Um, so I'm coming at you today with a just a short little yoga video. Today is going to be focused on mainly kind of the shoulders and the upper back and chest area. Um, I just briefly before we get into the practice, I personally have had some problems with my own shoulders, especially on my right side. Um, so if you need to, you know, modify any of these practices, just be really gentle with your body. Um, if you don't feel comfortable doing something, don't do it. Um, but I hope that this can just kind of be a nice little practice for you to kind of open up if your shoulders tend to be tight. Good. So before we get right into it, just go ahead and if you're not already, come into a nice comfortable seated position. Right now, I'm not sure if you can see from the camera angle, but I'm seated on a bolster, which is basically just a firm cushion. Um, you could also sit on a rolled blanket if you'd like. If you're comfortable just sitting that flat on the floor, you could do that too. Good, so you don't have to sit cross-legged. Sit in whatever way is comfortable to you. You could even do this seated in a chair if you wish. So, okay. So before we get into the movement, I'll ask you just to take a moment just to close your eyes. Good, and however you have chosen to sit, just take a moment to notice your body. Notice the places where your body is coming into contact with any surfaces around you. And then from the, that base, where your body is supported on a cushion, on the floor, wherever it might be, allowing yourself to lift from that support. So if you tend to slouch at all, lifting, reaching the crown of your head all the way up like you want it to reach towards the sky. If your shoulders tend to fall forward, go ahead and draw them back. Your shoulders should kind of almost be lined up with your ears. So make sure that your head and neck aren't falling forward. They're also back as well. And then just taking another moment just to notice here what your posture is feeling like. Does this feel any different than how you normally sit? And so while you're seated here, start to bring a little awareness to your breath. So if you're able to, try to breathe in through the nose. You can exhale either through the nose or the mouth. And just take a few just natural breaths in and out. When you're ready, on your next inhale, go ahead and join your hands together right in front of what we call the, the heart space or the heart center in yoga. And just pause here for a moment. Take another breath or two. And now, if you'd like, you're more than welcome to open your eyes if they're closed. And then on your inhale, keep the hands together, but start to press the arms up and overhead as high as you can reach. And then on your exhale, let the hands part. Bring the arms down so they reach to about shoulder height. But if you don't have room for any reason, you could also just bend at your elbows here. But then you just want to start to work in to some little gentle arm circle. And just notice if you're wanting to kind of tense the shoulders. And if you are, if you're able to relax them down slightly. Good, very nice. And then when you're ready, all you got to do is switch the direction of your circle. Good, and just noticing 
how does the body feel now? Does it feel any different than when you were moving the other direction? Very nice. And on your next exhale, we're going to go ahead and let those arms lower down by your sides. Right. And then on your inhale, go ahead and start to squeeze your shoulders up, almost like you want them to touch your ears. Hold in there for a breath. And then on a big exhale, you're gonna drop the shoulders down. So it looks like this. <sighs> Good, just let out a nice big sighing breath. Good, we'll do that one more time together. So inhale when you're ready, squeeze the shoulders up nice and high. Good, and big exhale when you're ready. <sighs> Good, drop them down, very nice. Good, so we're gonna do a few more moves while we're here. The next is classically called eagle arms and yoga. I'm not going to use a lot of Sanskrit language, going to keep it pretty simple. So if you're able to, see if you can cross your right elbow over your left or whichever arm you want to do first. If you can't access that, and you may not if your shoulders are really tight, just focus on crossing the arms over the chest. Good. And then from there, see if you can draw the backs of your hands towards one another. You can't do that you could always just bring opposite hands to opposite shoulders and then in whatever position that you have chosen go ahead and see if you're able to lift the elbows slightly away from the chest then you can also tuck the fingertips into the opposite palm if you want so option one is really just to hold here just focus on lifting slightly you're gonna start to feel that stretch through the arm that is primarily stacked on top. But you could also, if you wish, start to draw the elbows around in a little gentle circle here. Right? And this is one of my personal favorites when my own shoulder starts to feel tight. It feels really nice. It's almost like a little self-massage. Okay, and once you've gone around about five or six times, go ahead and switch the direction of that circle. Go around the other way a few times. Good. And again, just noticing sensation the whole time. How is the body feeling? Good. And again, when you've gone around about five or six times, go ahead and lower the elbows down. Uncross the arms. And before we do the other side, just take a moment just to pause. I want you to notice, you guys may even be able to see, this shoulder feels a lot lower than the other side. And so just kind of notice that sensation. Good, and then when you're ready, you're gonna go ahead and switch and do the opposite side. So this time, left arm will cross over. Again, modify if you'd like. Elbows will lift, and again, take your time. Go ahead and do a few gentle circles around. And just the whole time, you're also just being mindful of your breath. I know that's a lot to think about, but just, just trying to be present with what you're feeling in your body. You may switch the direction when you're ready. <clears throat> and again, when you've gone around a few times, you can go ahead and lower those elbows back down. You can go ahead and uncross the arms. Again, just take a moment to pause, notice, how do those two shoulders feel side by side now? Very nice. Okay. So from here, we're gonna be moving to an all fours position. So there may be a little bit of adjustment in the video. All right, welcome back guys. So. I'm readjusting now to all fours, our hands and knees. I'm just gonna show you one more stretch because the video is gonna already be probably about 10 to 15 minutes long. I just kinda wanna do a really short segment for you. So go ahead, if you're not already, come onto all fours. You're welcome to be down on a yoga mat. Once you're in that position, you're pretty good. And we're gonna start on the left side and then do the right. So you can see the back of the pose and then the front of the pose. So when you're ready, on your inhale, you're gonna go ahead and lift that left arm, bring it up and overhead. Maybe you wanna look up with the eyes, maybe you wanna keep the head down, whatever you prefer. And then on your exhale, 
Go ahead and let the arm start to draw down and then sweep it underneath the body. Start to bend your opposite elbow, drawing the shoulder and the side of the head down towards your mat if you have one. If it doesn't reach, got a yoga block right here. You can bring the block down and then rest the head or shoulder on the block. You could use a blanket if the block's too stiff. And then once you're down, your opposite arm can reach up towards the front of the mat like so. You could also reach up and overhead, or you can bring the top of the hand down to the lower back. So make sure it's not your palm. It should be the top of the hand. Good. So while you're there, go ahead and hold and try to hold for about five breaths. So just inhale and exhale. Just noticing what you're feeling. And I'm going to come back into it. So if you need that reference, you can see it. So when you're ready to come out of the pose, bring the top arm back down if it's lifted, plant the hand, thread the arm all the way back up, and then exhale, plant the hand back down under the shoulder. Good. So once there, we're going to go ahead and do the opposite side. So make sure you're still and your hands and knees right under, shoulders and hips. Inhale, opposite arm, it's going to lift up. All right, on your exhale, go ahead and draw the arm underneath. Opposite elbow can bend, shoulder inside of the head can rest down. All right, again, if you wanna take a variation, arm can slide up, maybe come up and overhead, maybe come down to the lower back. Good. And again, just holding here for a few breaths. Just noticing how the body's feeling just enjoying this nice stretch. So when you've finished, you can go ahead and bring the hand back under the shoulder if it's lifted, pressing down, thread your opposite arm all the way back through. Very good. Exhale, plant the hand back down under the shoulder. All right, and then we're pretty much done. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. And this is a great practice, you know, it's only about 10 or 15 minutes. Hopefully you can fit it into your day, especially if you have a busy schedule. And I'm hoping to do some more videos kind of specific to different areas of the body maybe some meditation practices. And you know, if you guys have some specific things you'd like to see, drop a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. So again, have a wonderful, beautiful day. Try to find something positive, anything at all, whatever brings joy to your life. Find that. Thank you so much, everyone. Namaste. Bye.